Delaney and welcome to my channel. You found my channel and if you're returning, thank you so very much. It means the world to me that you would take the time to come back and hang out with me here at the channel. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Join the Lash Fam. You seriously will not regret it. We have a wonderful, wonderful community here. I am so stinking excited for today's video because it's not a topic I dive into often, but it is definitely one of my favorite products in the whole beauty world, and that is perfume. I am a perfume fanatic. I wear perfume every single day. I love it. I love matching it to how I feel for the day. I love matching it to the season, the occasion, what I'm wearing. I really do believe fragrance can just make a big impact on how we feel for the day. It can really amp up our style, and I also feel like it's really tied to memories. Definitely, I feel like uh, you can smell something and it just takes you back to the moment. So I definitely have a very powerful sense of smell and I absolutely love fragrance. So if you want to dive into my fragrance collection and if you also want to hear my thoughts on um, one absolutely massive disappointment then just keep watching. I feel like I have a really broad range of fragrance in my collection but I definitely kind of have some categories I always stick with. I love sweet fragrances, floral fragrances, fruity fragrances. I'm really not one to reach for masculine or woodsy or really, really warm, warm, warm fragrances. I guess sometimes sweetness can kind of go under the warm category, but I'm talking about kind of a, I don't know how to describe it, that really warm, really, really warm, deep, rich kind of fragrances because I feel like on my body chemistry, for some reason, it just turns kind of rank. <laughs> like it doesn't work with my chemistry. I think that's something that's also really cool about fragrance is you can pick something up off a shelf, smell it at the store, take it home, wear it, and realize it doesn't work for you. That is one thing that makes buying fragrance online really tricky. <laughs> but yes, I feel like for the most part, I'm definitely a floral, a sweet, and a fruity kind of gal. But yeah, okay, let's dive in. I'm actually gonna start with the newest one in my collection and the biggest disappointment, you guys. It literally breaks my heart to say that I do not like this. One, because it's really expensive. Two, because, you know, we're all um, sheltering in place right now. There's no stores open. So I'm going to have to figure out how to return this online. Because here's the deal, you guys. If you are not new here, you know I absolutely love the Boom Boom Cream, Bum Bum Cream, whatever you want to call it, by Sol de Janeiro. I actually reached out to them just like a month before this launch to send them a message like, please, please, please come out with a perfume version of your... Cherosa 62, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Please come out with a perfume like your Body Splash because the Body Splash to me wasn't quite strong enough and at times the alcohol scent in it was a little bit too strong for me. And they were like, oh, stay tuned. And I was like, oh my goodness, are they gonna answer prayers and come out with a perfume? And then they did and I was so excited. This was actually a birthday gift to myself because I was so excited about it and it's really freaking expensive. I will put the prices of everything on the screen for you guys because I'm really bad at remembering numbers off the top of my head. But I believe this was $78. I know it's in the 70, it's in the 70 range somewhere. So it's not cheap. And it's an utter disappointment, you guys. I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm going to return this. I am going to. It's just I cannot justify the price tag with this perfume. Like, if I am spending that much dough, then it better knock my freaking socks off. And this doesn't. Now, the packaging, first of all, I will say, even when I saw the pictures on Trend Mood before it launched, I don't like the packaging. But that's not the end of the world. That's not why I'm returning it. I just think this is real cheesy. I don't know. It doesn't scream high end to me. It looks kind of like Dollar General, Walmart. I don't know. There's just something real cheesy about this, but I was going to look past that. Like, okay, who cares? As long as it smells amazing and it lasts a long time, I don't care because I love this fragrance. So let me tell you what the notes are in here real fast. The key notes are salted caramel, pistachio, and vanilla, which is just like the lotion. And I am truly obsessed with the lotion. The fragrance of it is unlike anything I've smelled before. It's so rich, so buttery, it's just enchanting. I've actually never heard anyone say they don't like the smell. I just feel like it is so delicious and it really is like a dessert in a bottle. So here's the deal. I made my own, look at, 
I made my own I made my own little tester things like you you go to Bath and Body Works or wherever and <laughs> you spray the sheet because I was like mm, I need to be able to keep sniffing this to remind myself of what everything smells like. I wore this for like two days because I wanted to give it a fair shot. I really wanted to give it a fair shot. The scent is good. It smells like the Bum Bum Cream. But here's the thing. It's a little bit different and it, 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 it instantly was a little bit disappointing but that's not even what bothers me the most. There is an absolute richness to the scent of the lotion. Like this might be a weird way to describe it, but it almost literally smells like when you pull butter out, you're baking and you uh, mix up the sugar in the butter, that rich, sweet, creamy, just rich flavor. The scent of that is what this reminds me of so much. And I think it is so decadent and amazing. Like I could just like dive into this, honestly. Like if I could just dive and swim inside of this little container, I would. That's how much I love it. The same notes are in here, but it doesn't have that rich, 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 buttery, decadent creaminess. It's similar, but it's just not the same. And I'm like, okay, obviously it's gonna be a little bit different. It's not a lotion, it's a perfume. Okay, 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 I can live with that. And when you first spray it, like the first time I sprayed it, I was like, oh yes, okay, I can dig this. It wears off so fast, you guys. So fast. And I know there is, like, you know, nose blind. When you put on perfume, there is, you know, eventually your senses are going to kind of get used to the fact you're wearing it and you're not going to notice it. So I was like, at first I'm like, okay, I'm just going nose blind. It's just me. And I kept having my husband smell me. And after, honestly, like five to ten minutes, he's like, I don't smell it. And I'm like, okay, I thought it was just me. Like, I don't smell it either. I tried spraying it on my clothes because I feel like some perfumes do better on clothes. I tried spraying, spraying it on my body. Some do better on the body. If I put a lot of this on, I can still smell it a little bit later. But it wears off so fast, I cannot justify the price tag, honestly. Like, if the scent was set exactly like the lotion where it was just so rich and creamy and wonderful and I had to reapply once throughout the day okay I feel like there's a lot of fragrances in my collection that if I really want to feel it like I'm smelling it throughout the day I need a spritz later on in the day but this one I mean it's like five to ten minutes and I cannot smell it no matter how I apply it the only time I was able to smell it a little bit later I had to put on like nine to ten sprays that's crazy to me. That means I will go through this bottle so freaking fast it's not even funny. That is just not not fair, not right to me for the price tag. And I don't think it's just me. I did a little research, I did a little digging, I read some reviews, and other people were saying the same thing, that they just, it doesn't last. This perfume right here was my most requested. I begged my husband to get me this for Christmas one year because I actually had someone at work walk by me one day who was wearing this and I had to stop them. I was like, what perfume are you wearing? It smells amazing. And they were like, YSL Black Opium. I had never heard of it. So you know I had to find out. So of course I went up to my local Sephora, smelled it and was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. So I put it on my Christmas list and hubby came through and got it for me. This scent is just unlike most. It's really unique and it's super sexy. The notes of this are black coffee, white flower, and vanilla. I feel like it is a sexy sweet. Uh, that coffee gives it a richness and kind of a modern trendiness. It's definitely decadent and I feel like the perfect date night perfume. I do think you can get away, away with wearing perfume anytime. At least that's how I feel. I'll wear whatever I want when I want. But there are some that I feel like are just like perfect for like date night. That smells so good. It's just very unique. It smells rich. It definitely is like one of those where you feel sophisticated. You feel kind of high class when you're wearing it. I feel like that coffee in there gives it such a rich kind of darkness and I don't know. There's something about it, you guys. Oh my gosh, it smells it does, it smells so good. It's got a little bit of a almost like a like a black currant kind of that like berry-ish tone to it in the layers. 
It's got a sweetness, but if you are afraid of sweet, I think you would still like this. It's not like sickly sweet, sugary sweet. If you just want to smell extremely sexy, I am not going to lie to you. I feel like this is like the sexiest perfume on the market. If you guys have a favorite sexy perfume, let me know down below. I definitely love like a fragrance you could put on and it just makes you feel like mm, the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> Let's talk about an extremely unique, different perfume in my arsenal here. This one is extremely uh, summery, it's extremely fun, and not not really like anything else in my collection. This is the Sud Pacific, I think is how you pronounce it, or excuse Comptoir, Comptoir Sud Pacific. Paris. I don't know how to say all that, but it is the vanilla banana, banana. <laughs> um, and honestly, I just threw this into my cart one VIB sale because I was like, oh my gosh, I, I don't have any perfumes that smell like banana. I want to try that. The notes are banana, banana leaf, and vanilla. This is sweet like candy. This is an extremely sweet scent. If you do not like fruity, you don't like sweet, then run, 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 because you would not like this one. It smells just like banana Laffy Taffy. It's a very fun and young scent. Like this is the kind of thing I would throw in my beach bag if we were on vacation, we're going to the beach. I will say, I feel like the banana scent kind of wears away a little bit. After being on the skin a while, it smells just more like a sugary vanilla scent so if you are afraid of fruit but you love sweet vanilla this still might be worth a shot i just feel like after i wear it a little bit the banana kind of goes away and i really just smell like a sweet sugary vanilla cupcake it definitely lasts pretty well it is a pretty potent fragrance let me spritz a little bit mm, my gosh you guys this smells exactly like banana laffy taffy because, like I said, after it wears off a little bit, the banana kind of fades away. Like, I definitely smell the banana at first, then after a few seconds, then I kind of get that banana leaf. It smells a little bit like a green banana. And then, as I wear it throughout the day on the skin, it's just like a very sugary vanilla. I really do like this. It's very unique. It's fun to have in my collection. Would I repurchase it? That I don't know. Next up was another... Uh, I believe I requested this for either Christmas or a birthday one year. I smelled this at Ulta and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I love the smell of gardenia. I think it is a beautiful scent and this bottle is very unique. I actually, I, like, I'm not a big Kim Kardashian person. Like, I'm not really into the show or anything. I'm not really into her makeup. But I do feel like she makes some nice perfumes that definitely catch my eye when I'm walking by them at Ulta. This one is potent tent you guys I made the mistake when I was at Ulta I sprayed on like a few sprays and I think I did about one too many because throughout the rest of the day it was like very intense like I could really smell it on me I like to smell my perfume on myself but like there is there is a line where I'm like okay that's too much the notes of this one are pink grapefruit pear water lily gardenia tuberose sandalwood amber and skin musk do you ever feel like some of the fragrance notes, you're just like, you, you're like, what, what, what even is that? There's several in this list you will hear that I have truly, I truly have no idea what they are. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. If you love floral, I really think this is worth a shot. It's very clean and bright and floral. This is like a really good work fragrance to me, a really good day fragrance. Because it's very bright. It just, it makes you feel like, ah, when you smell it. I really, it like opens up the senses. You feel like the sun came out even more. It's very powerful. You don't need a lot. I do think this would get you through the day with a little on the skin, a little on the clothes. Because it is a pretty strong fragrance. It's not a super unique fragrance. I don't think it's one that like people are going to stop you and be like, oh my gosh, what is that? But people are going to stop you and be like, wow, you smell really, really good. And then also by Kim Kardashian, I did request this at Christmas. Can you tell there's a lot of perfume requests at Christmas time? I did get the three set of her new diamond collection because I smelled all of these at Ulta and there's things I like about each of them. I really couldn't decide, but I didn't love them enough that I felt like I wanted to dive into an entire bottle of just one. So when I found out there was a three set, I was like, that is perfect. That is what I need. Let's start with the yellow one. This one, the notes are golden currant berries, yellow jasmine, 
yellow bird magnolia, yellow flag iris, patchouli, soft musk, and whipped vanilla. I'm actually surprised I like this because I usually am not drawn to perfumes that have patchouli in them. But I feel like it's not so heavy in patchouli that the other notes draw me in enough that I can look past it. It is a floral to me. It is a little sweet, but if you don't normally reach for sweet fragrances, I don't think this is so sugary you won't like it. It has a, it has a uniqueness and a tr just kind of a trendiness, a youthfulness to it that I really, really enjoy it. If I was going to pick one of these to buy a full bottle, it would probably be this one. I do feel like this is a fragrance that's perfect for daytime, perfect for work. It's just happy, it's bright, it's just clean enough, it's just sweet enough. It has kind of all the layers that you're looking for in a go-to perfume. Next up we have the Pink Diamond. This one, the notes are Morning Dew, Italian Bergamot, Pink Puff Violet, Pink Sapphire Tuberose, Blushing Jasmine, Sweet Lilac, Sensual Cloud Musk, Dreamy White Moss, like that, like how does one come up or find Dreamy White Moss, and Sun Drenched Driftwood. This one is very light. It's not overpowering. It's, it's got a coolness to it, that muskiness. I think this is one that wears well on the skin. It doesn't turn, it, it's so cool toned and musky that it doesn't turn like B.O., you know? I did put down in my notes that the staying power of this one is not the best, and I do believe it, because it is really a light, airy fragrance. To really last throughout the day, you would need to pop this one in your purse. If you are not a fragrance person, but you want a little something, I think this one would be more up your your alley because it's just light enough, it's just airy enough that you could walk by someone and they could tell that you smell nice but it's not going to like hit them in the face. It's not going to follow you all throughout the day where you can't even stand to breathe in your own fragrance because it's so strong. This is very light, very airy. The notes on the white one are tropical leaves, sugar, ginger, are moist, I don't know what that is, lang lang, Orange flower, sambaguita flower, coconut milk, white musk, and solar white musk. I definitely pick up the musk in this one. It's a very cool toned scent. If you prefer that cool toned smoothness, this one would be right up your alley. It is also very light. It's very clean. It's very bright. It's very airy. It's not overpowering at all. I feel like out of the three scents, this is the most mature. This is definitely like... I'm a boss babe, I'm going to the office, but I want to smell nice, but I don't want to be overpowering, and I don't want to come across as playful or sexy, like I'm here to do my job. That's this kind of fragrance. It really reminds me of springtime in Easter baskets though at the same time. It's very springy, it's just like crisp, clean, fresh morning air. Again, it is one you would want to pop in your purse because I don't think it's powerful enough to get you through the whole day. The next up is one of my absolute favorites of all time. This is the Britney Spears Midnight, you guys. It is crazy to me, though, that out of my fragrances, it seems like at times the cheaper the perfume, the more staying power and, like, oomph it has. This one is so good to me. I am obsessed with this one. I hope they never stop making it. I don't even think Britney Spears is involved in making these anymore. You can find them at Walmart. This is the best. This is definitely the most unique fragrance I have in my collection. The notes are black cherry, framboy, framboise, I don't know what that is, plum, night orchid, iris, freesia, amber, musk, and vanilla. It smells absolutely yummy. It's very cotton candy but with like a nighttime effect. Because of the black cherry and the plum, there is like this fruity deep richness but it's like a I don't know, it's like a nighttime coolness to it. If you don't like sweet, you would hate this one because it is very, very, very fruity. It almost has a cotton candy scent to it without the extreme sugary sweetness because of those rich kind of dark notes in there. I feel like this one could lean very young, like, but there's something about it, there's a richness to it that I feel like it could play up all ages. Like, I feel like a teenager could wear this or a woman in her 50s could wear this. It's definitely a great date night perfume because of that rich kind of darkness to it. It's so good, you guys. Let me know, have you guys tried this one? What do you think? I'm definitely a fan of the sexy fragrances. The next one is sexy too. This is C. Passion, and the notes are fruity, 
floral, rose, and woody vanilla. Needs to air out. This one I feel like is one of those that when you first spray it, it's the alcohol scent is really there and you're kind of like, mm, it takes a minute. It's also one that I feel like smells much better on the skin. It's one that just smells good on my skin compared to this piece of paper for sure. Your natural body chemistry, the heat of your body kind of warms it up and spices it up. I will say sadly, this one is very expensive. It's definitely high end and it doesn't last that long on my skin. I definitely feel like it's one that I would need to pop in my bag to really carry throughout the day because it just doesn't have the staying power I would like. This one has a richness to it. It's definitely a little sensual. It, it just smells like, it smells like you're important. There is that woody scent in there. This is probably a, a little bit more masculine than any of the other fragrances in my arsenal here. It definitely, you just smell like a rich bitch when you wear this, okay? Pardon the language, but you really do. You smell powerful. All right, and then next up, what do we have on my list here? This is one I was really excited to find at TJ Maxx because I've always wanted this fragrance but I never wanted to spend the money on it. And then I found it at TJ Maxx and then I found out they discontinued it. Why do they do this to us when we find something we like? This is Stella McCartney, Stella Pop. The notes are, this is really interesting to me, tomato leaves, violet, mandarin, tuberose, plumeria, sandalwood, cedarwood, and musk. And I don't know why, but as I wear this one on the skin, it gets a creamy kind of coconutty smell to me. I, I really don't know what note it is in there that would do that, but it does. It has like a, a almost like a creamy sweetened coconut milk smell to me. And maybe it's because like coconut milk or coconut cream is very rich. This, I think it is the musk that gives it that creaminess, that creamy effect. I love this one. It's very unique. It's trendy. It's young, but it's not childish. It's a perfect day scent, summer scent for sure. And it is a bit sweet, but not sugary sweet at all. It is not sugary sweet. I feel like that musk in there really balances out the sweetness where it doesn't smell like cotton candy or candy in general. I really enjoyed that one and I'm really sad to see they discontinued it. Why did they do that? I don't understand. Next up is one of my favorite ones in my collection. I started wearing all of these again, like I was going day by day wearing one, taking notes, really seeing what I think of it. This is the Viva La Juicy. It's really a wonderful fragrance. The notes are wild berries, jasmine, and vanilla. This one has a brightness and a little bit of sex appeal. It's definitely one you could get away with wearing during the day. It's not so sexy that you feel uncomfortable wearing it during the day. But there is just a little bit of sexiness in there. Again, it's a very rich fragrance. It's got just the right amount of fruit in there where it gives it a little sweetness, but it's not too much. I, I definitely smell that vanilla in there. It gives it a really nice creaminess. This one to me smells like after the hair salon, like you've had your hair shampooed and conditioned with like the really good high end shampoos and conditioners. And then they use the really um, fragranced professional hair products that kind of just rich fills the room kind of scent that's what this is to me this one is probably the most long-lasting in my collection the more I wear it the more I fall in love with this I feel like it's very appropriate for any occasion any time of day this is kind of like that all-encompassing one that everybody needs a perfume collection this one just like this one is a keeper for sure I really have enjoyed this one and I would definitely repurchase this one. Okay, and then I have one more three set here by Prada. This was also a gift. I believe it was a birthday gift from my hubby. Let's start with Prada candy. This one, the notes are musk, benzoin, I'm not sure what that is, and caramel. I definitely pick up the caramel in there. There's a very buttery richness to it. This one is definitely sweet. If you don't do sweet, you would not like it. It's not candy sweet though but it's very sweet. It's just like so good you could almost eat it. This to me is like what that Sol de Janeiro should be. This one has some oomph to it. It has a rich creaminess to it and it lasts pretty darn well on the skin. I do like this size of bottle though because it's so easy to pop in the purse and carry with you. Next up we have candy floral, 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 fl whatever. The notes of candy floral are sparkling, Cedrot, I'm not sure what that is. Banquet of Cosmos, Benzoin again, Caramel and White Musk. This one is definitely floral. 
compared to the just regular candy, even though there's caramel in here. I pick up a little butteriness, a little like that richness, but it's very floral, it's very springtime. This one I feel like definitely comes across more mature than the candy because it's not so sweet. That floral really gives it a matureness. This would be a great everyday wear to work when the weather is nice. It's just like the perfect springy, summery, sunshine perfume. This one is definitely stronger to me than the regular candy. That floral, the floral fragrance, the floral notes in there really amp up the volume on this one. And then we have Candy Kiss, the last one in the trio. The notes of the Candy Kiss are musk, orange blossom, and vanilla. Out of the three, I feel like this is the lightest fragrance. I definitely pick up the musk in here. It's a little bit cool. There's some floral. It's not super sweet to me. Not masculine, but a little bit more of that woodsy scent in there. Definitely would be a good day-to-day -day perfume, and I feel like that one, it leans a little bit more fall-winter to me. It's not spicy though, but just a little bit more fall-winter than the other ones. Okay, and then the only two body splashes I have in my collection right now are by Good Chemistry. I really wanted to add more perfume to my collection, but I told myself I don't need to spend that much money because Good Chemistry, even though it's at Target, it's not expensive, but obviously the perfumes are more expensive than the uh, body splashes. So I decided, you know what, even though I'm definitely more of a perfume gal, I'm going to put a couple body splashes in my collection. The first one is the Magnolia Violet. The notes are Magnolia, Peony, and Amber. This one is all floral and all clean to me. It's very bright and happy. Like as soon as you smell it, you, you, you feel happier. One spritz, and I truly cannot believe how strong this one is, it, feel, it fills the room just in one spritz. This one is really a perfect one for someone who is going to the gym and work. Like you want to throw it in your bag, you want something that's going to put off just a happy, bright, day appropriate fragrance, but it gives you enough cleanness that you're like, oh, I didn't just go to the gym. Like this is that kind of fragrance to me. I absolutely love this and I would definitely consider purchasing the perfume, but I'm pretty darn happy with this as a body splash though. So maybe I'll just keep getting this one to save the money. One of my favorite fragrances of all is this, this scent right here and I would definitely get it as a perfume because I want it to be even more powerful than this because I love it that much. This is Queen Bee. You guys, this, I feel like me in a fragrance is this one. I don't know why, but it just, it's just perfect to me. The notes of Queen Bee are black currant, peony, and amber. I think it's the black currant. I think I'm a really big fan of black currant. It gives it that fruitiness, but it's just like this nighttime richness, like it's cool, sensual, but this one it leans trendy still. Like it's still daytime appropriate. It's great date night, but it also is very daytime appropriate. It's very trendy, it's very unique. On their bottle it says vibrant and bold with a touch of sass, and I feel like that is literally the perfect description. There are so many fragrances I love here, but I guess if I had to pick one for the rest of my life, whew, it would either be this or the Britney Spears Midnight, maybe this one just because it is so sassy and, and just unique and young and fun. There's something about this one, it almost has like a lemony citrusy, just like a little tiny bit that gives it that cleanness. If you have not tried the good chemistry Queen Bee, seriously, go to Target, give it a sniff, it is wonderful. But of course, don't go to Target right now. Wait till everything calms down and we're back to normal. But you know what I mean, okay? This, it deserves to be smelled. We all need to smell it. And then the two newest fragrance in my collection are something I have to rave about because I've just been on a perfume kick lately, but I haven't been wanting to spend crazy big bucks because perfume can be so expensive. And I actually found a brand on Instagram that I wanted to try. It's called Dossier. And they create fragrances to smell like high-end fragrances. And but they're still not cheap, like uh, bottles, like 20 bucks or 28 bucks or something like that. And I was just like, oh, I don't know if I wanna risk it right now. But I found these when I ran into CVS to grab a couple things. I didn't realize there was a brand like this at CVS. This is the brand Perfect Scents. They don't list the notes on their packaging, so I'm gonna go to the original fragrance and read those to you because this one smells 
extremely similar to the original. And I have a memory of this one. It brings me back to Chicago. I was 11 years old. We, we went downtown for Christmas time, saw all the Christmas decorations. I went to the American Girl store. I got my makeup done at Macy's and they gave me a perfume sample of Jador. So it's always held a special place in my heart. Uh, Jador is $105. This was 10, 10. And it smells extremely close. The uh, fragrance, the keynotes of Jador are Lang Lang, Ylang Lang, Lang Lang. I think it's just Lang Lang, right? Like Lang Lang, I think. <laughs> Damascus Rose and Jasmine. This is very floral and it's very strong and it's it's very rich. Very like it smells like you got a lot of money in my opinion. <laughs> and the price tag goes with that idea. This is the perfect boss babe, like daytime perfume. It's very in your face. It's a little bit clean, a little bit cool. Very, very floral. <sighs> this smells exactly like the actual perfume to me. I cannot believe it, you guys. And it's $10, $10. Like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I definitely want to dive into this brand more. I'm gonna check out their website and see what other ones they have because I'm beyond impressed. If you are on a budget, but you wanna smell, like a boss babe, then go check this one out. I'm absolutely obsessed. And then the next one is a fragrance I have always eyeballed. It's the Inspire, uh, Terry Mugler's Angel. I have eyeballed it so many times, but it's so expensive. I cannot guarantee that this one smells exactly like it, but this smells so good to me. Let me check out the original notes to see if I think it matches up. Let's see what it says here. So a full-size bottle of this is $150. <laughs> That's why I've never bought it. Um, the notes are caramel, chocolate, honey, and vanilla. It's sweet and gourmand. This is a very unique fragrance to me, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I've been, I wore it every day last week because I love this. This scent lasts so well on the skin and on the clothes. I do a little spritz on the chest, a little spritz on some clothes, and it stays with me. It's very unique, you guys. Like at first you're kind of like, I don't know if I like it. It's very unique. It does not smell like anything else in my collection. The chocolate notes in there are like, I smell the chocolate. It's one of those that it kind of takes a minute to settle into your body chemistry, but I feel like it works really well with mine. It stays cool enough that it doesn't get spicy and rank on my skin. That chocolate in there is like, I smell the chocolate. Like I really, really smell the chocolate. I, I definitely, I, I think this has to smell like the real one. If you have smelled the real one, go smell this one when you can at CVS and tell me what you think because I truly pick up the chocolate and honey in here. I don't fully smell the caramel besides the kind of richness to the fragrance. I smell the vanilla mixed in there, but it smells like, like a dark chocolate melted in a pan with honey. Like you're baking something where you have melted chocolate and honey in a pan, it's warmed up, it's filling the kitchen with that chocolatey goodness. I love this one. I wore this all last week. I'm obsessed, it lasts so well. It's very powerful, but for $10, you cannot beat it. You guys, that is my entire perfume collection. It's a lot. There's a lot here. That was a lot to go through. I hope you enjoyed it. I know perfume videos are tough to do because you're trying your best to describe them and there's nothing like smelling it for yourself. But I personally love watching perfume videos. I watch them all the time because I'm obsessed with perfume. So I hope you did enjoy this. Please let me know down below what your favorite perfumes are. What are your go-tos? What scents do you like? I seriously would love to hear from you guys. And you know I'm always looking for some more things to throw in my cart during the VIB sale. I think I might hit up some perfumes this year. So yes, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That is all for today, and as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.